Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to this channel. So, in today's video, I have a very special video where uh, we're actually going to discuss uh, the different ways that uh, lizards will defend themselves from predators. So, you know, when it comes to the food chain, the last thing that you want is to be at the very bottom. And you know, for lizards, that is actually their place. They are actually at the very bottom and you know, they are uh, predated by many, many animals, including other lizards. And you know, there are so many ways that, uh, you know, so many different lizards will defend themselves and, you know, actually just basically avoid an actual confrontation. So, you know, like I said, uh, the last thing that uh, all lizards want to do is actually be in a confrontation because, you know, a confrontation for them might just mean them becoming lunch. So, you know, the most simple thing to do is to actually run. But, you know, if that is not an option, then they have to do something to avoid, you know, that confrontation. So, you know, for example, for uh, for so many lizards, the other very common thing for most of them is actually hissing. And, you know, there are some lizards, like for example, a leopard gecko, or actually many geckos, where, uh, you know, they don't have the option of hissing. So what they will do is basically scream, like this leopard gecko. Are you done? Are you hurt? Well, you might call it screeching too. I don't know, I just call it screaming. But you know, some other, like for example, this knobtail gecko, you know, it doesn't scream or screech. It will actually try to bark. All right, so let's continue. So, you know, uh, sometimes uh, they have no other choice but to try to do something physical. So, you know, like I said, you know, they don't want to bite you because, you know, like I said, that most likely will result in their death. So, you know, there are some lizards that are, when, they're, when they don't have another option, they still don't want to bite you, but they will try to do something to try to keep you away. And, you know, this, especially with uh, big lizards, like, you know, uh, monitor lizards or tegus, you know, they will actually just try to tail whip you. Like for example, this uh, Nile monitor. Alright, so you know, obviously that's a uh, an easy choice for uh, big lizards. So, what do uh, small lizards do when they don't have a choice but to try to do something? Well, you know, like I said, there are so many things that uh, they can do, but some lizards, which are like basically, um, let's say that uh, they're a little uh, pine cone, because obviously, if you would go and uh, try to squeeze a pine cone, well, what's gonna happen? You're gonna hurt yourself. So that's why these lizards are so known as pine cones because uh, what they what they will do is actually curl up so that uh, you know if an animal is trying to attack it, it's just gonna hurt itself. Alright, so you know, that obviously might work for uh, that species of lizards, but for example, many other lizards, which you know, they will have uh, somewhat of a, a soft skin, so they don't have that option. So what they will do is actually try to distract the predator, and a very simple way to do that is by tail waving.
So you know, this is obviously a most commonly uh, with leopard geckos because uh, what they will do is actually, you know, wave the tail so that the predator will go for the tail instead of the head. But you know, like I said, the last thing that uh, they want to do is actually be in a confrontation. And here, this is something that uh, I actually don't know completely why they do it. So, you know, I'm just gonna share the video. <laughs> but you know, a Euromastic, aside from several things that uh, they might try to do to avoid, uh, you know, a problem, they will actually uh, wave their bodies. So a very simple way to uh, to avoid a confrontation is by actually try to let the other animal know that you are venomous or poisonous. And you know, there is uh, no other lizard that uh, even though they are not venomous, they do a great job at making you think that they are. All right, so you know, another uh, very common way to actually uh, defend themselves is by simply making themselves look bigger. So, you know, obviously this is something that uh, many lizards do, you know, basically try to make themselves look taller or, you know, wider or, you know, simply bigger. And there is no other lizard that uh, does such a great job at doing that than the frill dragons. So, you know, for the end, I did save my favorite video because uh, this is a video that not a lot of people have seen and you know, it is amazing. You know, to make it simple, this is a toad head agama and you know, they do such a great job at you know, displaying their uh, scare tactic because even though they are very small, you know, they gotta try to do something to scare big predators and this is what they do. So, you know, like I said, you know, there are so many different ways that uh, lizards will try to defend themselves. And, you know, I believe that uh, I can try to get enough uh, footage or, you know, at least pictures so that I can do a second part for this video. So, you know, let's hope that happens. All right, guys. So, you know, I do hope that uh, you guys enjoyed that video. But before we go, I do want to say that, uh, you know, thank you so much to everyone who uh, gave me permission to use uh, your videos. So, you know, to everyone watching, uh, please show them some support and, you know, go follow their Instagrams and, you know, subscribe to A Exotics. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be all for me. And, you know, like I said, thank you so much for watching. I do hope that uh, you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, you know, make sure to uh, give me the little finger. You know which one. And I'll see you next week.